Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech after using the pixel os android 13 base custom rom for the oneplus 9rt i switched back to the oxonus 12c07 yesterday because oxonus 13 stable f11 update has been released if you are using the custom rom then tomorrow i will upload how to revert back from the custom rom to the stock oxon os if you are on the oxonus c07 android 12 builds then you may or may not get the ota or stock about phone setting Instead of that you can use the Oxonus updater application there you will get the full OT of 4.8 GB download and flash the OT while local install in the about phone you can refer our iCard video how to manually flash the OT update but if you are already on the open beta Oxonus 13 F08 then you will get the small 500 MB of OT in the stock OT updater just download the OT later it will start to extract and then tap on install to flash the new stable Oxonus 13 Today in this video we will see what's new in this OTA, what has been fixed, how is the performance as compared to the old open beta update, CPU throttling comparison, what are the major bugs or the issues, and how to revert back to the stock Oxygen OS 12. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. So I downloaded the new OTA and started to install it via stock OTA. If your bootloader is unlocked then immediately during the reboot you will see the new bootloader unlocking warning in the big orange text. Once phone booted in the notification panel you get the system update finishing notification. Once done you can see the new version install notification if you tap on it. It redirects in the stock about phone setting. Here you can check who installed the new Oxygenus 13 F11. You can check the change log by tapping on the about this version tab. We will later check the change log in the detail. First we will see the about phone section. In the about version tab you can see this is the android 13 with the same material clock easter egg but the security patch is of october 2022. Oneplus still did not add the november security patches even though we got the stable update in the mid of november 2022. In the version section you can see this version is the oxygenos f11. Kernel version is and the other things are the same like the old version. There is no much more difference between the beta and the new stable Oxygenus update. If you check the about version, you can see all the change log is same like old first open beta F07. So here we will only discuss the unique part that change here and that we missed to review in the old videos. We can check the full features and the change log review from the old iCard video. If you are first time upgrading your device then you will see whole animations are changed here they are smooth and all user interface elements are changed here OnePlus call it as aquamorphic design and the quantum animation engine in the real world you will really feel the difference all the user interface is smooth and gliding on the fingertips now as per the change log there is a addition of new world clock in the widget section you can add and check any country's current clock timing in this widget and it is very useful They added the new markup which has the bunch of the new setting while editing the screenshot as you can check on the screen. OnePlus added the new recorder application which has the user interface design. You can easily record the audio and they can be accessible on the home screen of the application. Next is the O emojis these are the different emojis than the bit emojis you can create these emojis and can apply these emojis as a profile pictures for the contact stock setting etc we can also set them on the always on display to access this setting just type the keywords like the O emojis in the stock setting of the search bar instead of this OnePlus camera that they added the self developed VRS technology for the gaming which adds the screen resolution to increase the performance with the saving battery Overall this will improve the gaming performance gaming is already lot improved in the Oxygenus 13 but still I will test the full gaming in the another video with the CPU intensive gaming applications like the BGMI and new state etc instead of these changes all other change log details were already discussed in the old video the major issue that OnePlus fixed in this new build is the swipe gesture issue like you can't able to easily dismiss the notification or can access the gaming mode while swiping from the corners These issues are solved in this new build. We can now easily access the swipe gestures in this new build. Now let's compare the performance of the new build with the old F08 update. Performance of the new OTA is top notch and it's similar to the old update. Your phone will run better smooth in all conditions. 
Let's see the Geekbench series for this build. For the CPU on the single core we got 792 while for the multi core we got 3341. If you compare this with the old F08 there we got 833 and 3158. So without performance mode we got the big improvement in the multi core results this time. After enabling the performance mode when I ran the test single core performance improves and we got the score of 1099 and 3166 for the multi core. If we compare this with the old build there we got 1095 and 3053. While for the GPU performance on the open drives we got the score of 4590 without performance mode while on the old build we got the score of 4721 with the performance mode. On the Hulkan graphics score is 4720 without performance mode while for the old build we got 5513 with the performance mode enabled. There is big drop in the performance of the Hulkan graphics score but as the Hulkan graphics usage is limited in the applications so it has no big effect on the GPU performance. Overall for the performance mode and the non-performance mode, in the both the condition OnePlus slightly improved and stabilized the performance of the Oxygen S13 F11. Now it's time to check the CPU throttling of the new build. I ran the test for the 7.5 minute on the 23rd, this time 2 minutes of the time is increased while testing, which has the slight effect on the performance like when I stopped the test we got 90% of CPU throttling results, while last time we got the score of 96%. But remember that time we ran the test for only 5 minutes. So it's obvious that more time, more intensive task with the more heat, which can reduce the score but still 90% is very good score, which is proving that this build is capable of running the CPU intensive task without degrading the performance of the device. Now let's check out what are the issues in the new build. I didn't find much issues but the issues that already persist is the no fast boot mode. If it tries to boot the device using the volume and the power button combo, Device just reboots back to the stock OS, even though I can't able to access the stock recovery using the hardware button combo. This is the major drawback for the easy routing and the modding of the device. If you are still unsatisfied with this update, then you can downgrade device to the Oxygen S12C07. For that, download the downgrade package from the link given under the video description, remove its jar extension, place the file in the root of the storage. Now go to the about phone there, tap 8 times on the build number that will enable the developer setting. Now in the about phone tap 3 dot menu from the top right corner, there select the downgrade package, system will verify the update and tells you the details about the downgrade package as it is the Oxygenus 207 build. Once confirmed tap install. This is all about the new Oxygenus 13 F11, battery life and the gaming performance will be discussed in the next video. That time I will give you my final verdict about this new stable update. Until then if you think I help you through this video then please do like and share this video, subscribe to channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.